I don't even know if we ever touched the field together. You know I we never did. I can't, I, we I can't did, remember, bro. If we did, you I, know. I can't, I can't remember. But I think we did, because everybody, uh, anyway. Listen, I, listen. Get, I watch, I watch, I watch, I watch, rate, rate I watch his game. Show. You see these two? I watch his game. You see these two? I'm, I'm a fan. Crazy. I'm a fan of I Am Athlete, right? So let me set the record straight. Come on, Trill. One of the nicest I've ever played against. Like, what you say, cra crazy work? <laughs> hey, he was giving you that crazy work. Hey, let me tell you something. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, me and my, my brother and I was having this conversation like two weeks ago because uh, he was talking about the show. To tackle? One-on-one -on -one overfield? <laughs> <laughs> he gave me that crazy word a couple times. We had to fight to get a meal. Yeah, wrongfully accused. We had to fight to get a pill. That's why we right to get a deal. He on the team, he got to eat, you know? Despite, Despite your skills, facts. Keep it riding for the fam. You got to light the wig and wheels straight up. But in the pass bag, work up in the trash bag. I'll pass a lot to take the test before I pass class. Yeah. And my family needed bread. I had to come correct. That's why I keep airing it out like I just passed gas. Welcome to another episode of I Am Athlete. We got a very, very special guest. Yes, that's sir. right. That's right. I'm not even gonna say his name. First, I'm gonna tell a story. This is when I knew he was a dog. My dog got out there as a freshman, was playing gunner, and uh, it was an instance where the man grabbed him and kind of controlled him a little bit. If you've ever heard about our strength coach, Andrew Swayze, he didn't play that. He brought the young man to the sideline and said, if I ever see you get handled like that again, I'm a dog your ass myself. Mm. The next punt play, this man went out there and when the ball snapped, he wasn't playing football. Oh, was it? Oh, we know Straight bowls. Yeah. Straight bowls. <laughs> And that's why I like to introduce everybody to my brother, Antrell Rose. Yeah. That was, that was a good that story, was good. though. I forgot all about that story. Yeah, yeah, Two man. piece in the biscuit. Bro, what, what went through your mind on that one, bro? Like, got to get it at all costs. Listen, it is what it is, man. Listen, I, we, I get it from the mud. Right. By any means necessary. You know, we go, we'll hug and kiss later on. Right. Hmm. But, you know, when you're on that, when you're on that gridiron, got to get it. Right. Let me ask you, let's get right into it, right? Before we get into your legendary career, talk about Super Bowls, talk about family, all the other stuff. What's happening with the U, right? You start with that story, you lead with that story. Is that culture gone? Is that, maybe this is the question. Was that the culture that established the U, right? Because everybody's waiting for the U to return. Where is the U? Can we get back to those glory days? Can we get back? I mean, I think that's only something that they can they can show us. Um, you know, everybody's been, I think, you know, when you talk about the U getting back, I think everyone, it doesn't matter what school you came from, everyone is desperate for the U to get back to greatness, right? Because, I mean, listen, you watch the U, you watch the U, everybody watched the U, right? That's true. It was a tradition, it was something that was, it, it meant something. Now, when people talk about U, they laugh, it's a joke. You know, it's hard for me to really follow and watch it because it's not up to my standard. Yeah. You know, I just keep it 100. It's not up to my standard. I haven't been up to my standard for years. Um, you know, I follow the tradition. You know, those guys were ahead of me. When we got in the game as freshmen, they told us if the other team scored a touchdown, you wouldn't play another down. Damn. <laughs> That's big. Right Damn. There. And listen, and they never scored a touchdown on the second unit. They didn't. And, you know, Reed meant that. He meant that. Right. He meant that. And Reed. Yeah, and we knew it. Because they had that much clout, right? Ken Dorsey, 6'5", lanky, white boy, was a general. That was the first time I had ever been a part of that. I'm coming in as a freshman. If he say he want everybody there at 530, he didn't have to say it twice because everybody else follows suit. And if you wasn't there, good luck. Speak, speaking of that, is that why y'all was so dominating? On Cause y'all had a long ass dominant, run. dominant. I mean, long runs. How do we get back to being dominating? Like, be, because right now it's Alabama. Used to be UM. Right. What is it gonna take for y'all to get back to dominate? Because it, it, you could just say, hey, it ain't. We gotta get some players, but it's a cultural thing. 
at Miami. Matter of fact, I had my nephew here two weeks ago, and I called Brandon because I was at the at UM. Right. And no bullshit. I got goose when I walked up. Goose bumps like hell, because I'm looking like, God damn, all of these people. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? I haven't had a chance to go to Alabama. I grew up in the era where the U was the, right. the mecca of college football. And my, you know, my nephew young, he don't, he don't, he don't understand. Right, right, right. He love the U, but, but he don't understand, he don't, he don't understand no, it no, like I no, understand. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. Like, and I'm walking through, I'm getting chills now, like these had everybody. Everybody. Yeah. yeah. You just said it, Pac. Everybody was there, right? The Michael Irvins, the John Beesons, the Jeremy Shockeys, the, the Brian McKinney's. That's what made us great back in the days was once guys went away to the league, we all came back. That's true. We all worked out. Coach Swayze, right? We ended up getting several coaching staff that came in and didn't really understand the culture of Miami. Mm. Kind of closed it in, locked the doors, made it a hassle or uncomfortable to come and work out. That was our secret sauce, right? We didn't have the biggest facilities. Private school, we only got 7,000, 8,000 students. We ain't got the most money, right? right? Like we, we, we just rolled out the new gym with the indoor facility. We didn't have an indoor facility. When it, when it rained, we practiced, right? <laughs> when several times lightning hit that lightning rod on the building, our ass stayed out there and practiced, right? So now we got Mario Christenball, ex-Hurricane, understands the culture. I like him. He's a good right? dude. Right? Yeah. Opening the doors, bringing all the OGs back in so we can, we can mentor these young dudes. But we also got to remember, like, let's not get, talk about this new you back. I don't think what we've done will ever be replicated. So these young guys, dog, they got to create their own path, their own way. And where it fell off, was around two or three years after trail, you had guys riding the coattails of what we did, right? I'll be honest, I'm in the league. I'm at comedy clubs. It's cats on a squad next to me. They got a table, they got bottles, they right. rocking, they doing this and that. Oh, they, and they in college. Yeah, they in college. Yeah, in college. But, but not only in your college, you sorry. <laughs> sorry. Like you ain't winning. And that was a mindset, right? It's cool if you're doing it, because I did it when I was in college, but we was winning, we was balling. Yeah, right, right, right. You should be it's embarrassed. You should not be out in public. So until these, this new generation understand and learns that mindset, dog, it's going to be a long time before the U is back. But it ain't going to never be back like how it was. It's going to be, be this new version. So how was it for you when, when you, because you're from down Homestead. Right. You're from down here. So you grew up uh, uh, admiring the U and all, everybody that came through there. Man, you know what's crazy is I was never a fan of watching football, right? I always loved to play it. I always loved to be outside, but I wasn't a fan of watching football. Um, when I got to high school and then, you know, started being recruited and things of that nature, that's when I really started to dial in and watch football. So I fell in love with that number six, mm -hmm. Santana Moss. That's right. Dog. To, to me, he was one of the most electrifying players I've ever seen. Didn't matter the position. Right. You know, I saw a guy who wasn't the biggest guy on the field, but who always had the biggest heart. You know, dog mentality, yeah. take that helmet off, yeah. shake that yeah. Like, yeah. Tanner Man was different. For yeah, me, he was, he was nice. different. Yeah. Right. He was different, you know? And when I was coming out of college, you know, my older brother, when he played in high school, he wore number six. And Santana wore number six. So I was like, man, listen, I got to have that six. Like, to me, I don't care about Hall of Fame. I don't care about accolades. The only thing I ever cared about when I played the game was being a dog. Mm. If you line up across from him, you want him to say, God, am I gonna line up against Trail again? I'm gonna be in your all day. Like you, you gonna be tired. You gonna need the ice. Where, where uh, Steve Smith's at? Ice up, son. Ice up, son. <laughs> you, yeah, you gonna need the ice. Hey, he caught me like that one time. I, he blitzed. <laughs> <laughs> See, I ain't like. I keep it honest, good and bad. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you finally about you to say something bad? Blitz? No, no, I'm saying no. Nah. I could black a block. <laughs> I'm on the right <laughs> side. I see him coming down, right? He blitz. I'm like, oh. So, but I'm thinking I'm hitting because he ain't super, he's bigger than me. He's not super big. You know what I'm saying? They run you over? Nah, I go over there. I hit him. Boom, I hit him, right? So it was nothing. You know what I mean? He got the pass off. We go back in the huddle. I'm like, <laughs> so Mike telling the play. I'm like, hold on, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, Mike. I'm like, hold on, man. Y'all was stinger. <laughs> I said, man, get out of here. I come back for like three, four plays. That's what happened. I said, oh, man, a little. 
you know, a little cramp, man. You know what I'm I need some water. Cause you want to know, like. Right. You know. <laughs> So he definitely was a dog. He was a dog, yeah, was for a dog. sure, one hundred percent. With all them that you, you, all the guys you play with in Miami, and, and the guys that you looked up to, who would you say was the best as far as number one dog athlete? That's tough. <sighs> Boy, it's got to be one though. That's, that's just one. Man, it, it, not including yourself because we'll be. We'll be no, nah, I, I would never say myself. I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of so many players that that has come through you. But like, if you're gonna say number one, just dog, I'm about to say St. Sean Taylor, no doubt about but it. But they they all say Sean though. All the Miami dudes. Sean was say that. different. Like, you gotta understand. Like, this is someone that I, I played with from the age of six, and the same thing that he possessed at UM, he possessed at six years old. You know, Oklahoma drill. You lay on your back, bleep, turn around. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. I can't tell you how I finished at six years old. Yeah. He just had that, that hip, that natural pop, bam. You, you don't coach that, you don't teach that. Right. He's always had it. But you know, the thing that I don't think Sean get enough credit for is his, his, his intellect of game. Mm. You know, he was athletic. You know, Sean in high school, punt return, kick return, running back, quarter, it didn't matter, man. He was running all over those kids, but he knew the game. Right. Like he could find the ball run this way, speed turn, go get it all the way across the field. Like, he, he was he was different. Like, I've never seen that breed, you know? And then at the same time, he got too scared to run across that middle. Right. Because he, like, man, listen, he coming with it. I saw, I saw him weigh 238 in the off season. And for us, back in college, in the off season, that's when you your light is, because that's when we run and we do the right. rest. 238, bro. Moving. Running 4-3. Moving. Safety downhill, fearless. When y'all was kids, did y'all, since I know you, you just said y'all played as youngsters together. When y'all was making those decisions about college, did y'all com communicate during that time? Cause I know y'all was close. Hey, we going to the U, we going to do this, or, or, or da, 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 da. You know, I think it, it was some communication. It wasn't a whole lot of communication, but I think we all just kind of follow suit. Like we all followed each other down here in high school. It was. Roscoe Paris, Frank Ooh, Gore, Roscoe, myself. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, we Andre were, we was were, Andre, y'all Andre, no, Andre is, I believe, two, Andre two, two older class than older than yeah, We are the same class, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, we all, listen, man, like, what you think about, you know? Think about the you, this, and the other. You know, we all had several offers, but I think when it all balled down to it, we knew that this was home. You mm -hmm. know, this was home for us. And I was always leaning towards Florida. I was going towards Florida. You know, I was leaning, I was real, real deep into Florida. And I made the mistake and went to when you in practice. I ain't never seen nothing like it. Like, literally trying to kill each other. <laughs> like, it, I'm talking about crap back, collisions. I'm like, I saw, I th man, it was one of, one of y'all linebackers, DJ. I, I, I think it was Chris Campbell. Chris Campbell. He hit Jared Payton so hard. I said, <laughs> God <laughs> damn. <laughs> like, my whole body just shiver, right? And then you hit a whistle blow. Bleak. They giving each other water. Mm. So for me, I'm like, if somebody did me like that, like I, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna kill them. Right. But that was, a, that was, that was their practice. My like family. for them, it was just another day in the park. Mm. You know, and and, and seeing that brotherhood. See, that's when football was different. Seeing, back seeing that, that brotherhood, man, different. and and I like I get goosebumps talking about it because I was like, man, no, nah, I'm making a mistake. Like I, I need to be right here. Right. And from that moment on, like you know, I was, I was UM, green and orange, through and through. Was that all under Coker? Right? That was no. I got Bush recruited did. by Bush Davis. Oh. But the year I came in, Bush Davis left and went to the league, and then Coker became head coach. So wait, all the championships, though, are under Coker, right? Coach Coker, team that won the championship, yes. everybody likes to say it was built by Bush Davis. Oh, OK, OK. Right, because Bush, Bush Davis was there through the ups and downs uh, when we was on probation, where we only had like eight or 10 scholarships mm -hmm. out of 30. They was bringing guys like Santana, uh, they call themselves the, uh, the trap, trap, yeah, yeah, track, on scholarships on track scholarships and things like that. Right. So he went ahead and went away to Cleveland, and it was a situation where they was trying to bring in Gary Alvarez. And this is how much power the Wait, Reeds. Did Bush, did Bush didn't win. Did he win? Didn't no, 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 no. We went to the Sugar Bowl. Yeah. Won it. We should have played for the national championship that year, but we got leapfrogged by the BCS because we didn't beat La Tech by enough points. That's right. when the point system, though. Yeah, yeah the point system, okay. right? Right. And so what happened was when Butcher left, we bring in 
They want to bring in Barry Alvarez or somebody from the outside. And again, what did I speak about earlier? We started bringing people from the outside. That's when things crumbled. So what happened was some of the leaders, Brian McKinney, uh, Ed Reed, Portis, and some guys like that, they went up to the AD and said, bring in Larry Coker. Larry Coker had been there 10, 15 years, oh. offensive coordinator. And uh, they brought Larry in. And we all loved and respected Larry, but Larry already knew what it was. This thing right. was on autopilot, bro. Man. This thing oh, was on autopilot. We had a crazy <laughs> coaching staff. I oh, think my. about five or six of the guys on our coaching staff ended up in the NFL or ended up head coaches uh, other places. So we just needed somebody not to mess up what we had going I'm on, sorry, man. Bill. Yeah. Hey, by the way, you don't know this, right? Right. But if you can Google, because you like to Google, I commit to Miami. We know that. Yo, my first offer was Larry Coker came to my, my high school. Why you decommitted? So, yeah, why, why, why you decommitted? So I, why, he was I'm, scared of the competition. Me? Yeah. <laughs> you said that Miami yeah. don't play with Miami people. So look, I never I, said that. I never said that. But anyway, I broke my ankle in high school. So then, and then Coker got fired. So it, it kind of, the attention shifted. All my, I, I had like 70 scholarships. I forgot but then when you. I got hurt, I had like what, five, four. I didn't have a lot. Like Penn State, Junior Tech, Pitt. My, I already committed to Miami. So it was like, they didn't want to look bad. You know what I mean? It was like, look. Right, right. We'll take you, you know what I mean? We'll, we'll take you. So then I went to prep school. I left like middle of my high school uh, year, senior year. And then I went to prep school. And in Miami, they was doing stuff like coming to the school and not even telling me like, cause we had other recruit, um, really cool. Greg Cooper. Oh, he Greg, Greg Cooper, yeah. Yeah, Greg Cooper went there. And uh, and then Baby J. Uh -huh. By the way, if Ash you listening, you owe my brother some money. You bet that Baby J would have a, a better career than I did in college. So we need our money. Anyway. <laughs> so they would come to the school and they ain't want to holler at me. I said, well, look, let me do y'all a favor. Y'all don't got to take me. I'm cool. I was going to go to Penn State. I didn't really fit in Penn State. At the time, um, rest in peace, Paterno was there. Mm. I'm not really a Penn State type of dude. You know what I mean? You know how I, how right. I, roll, how I talk, how I act. <laughs> <laughs> so one dude came to save me. They was that. He's like, Shady, bless you. Now, I know you didn't like me in the past, right? <laughs> Cause it's like it's Pitt. I might not go to Pitt, man, right. Miami. You know? Right, right. But I, I promise you, I give you a chance to get your name back. Nobody, nobody in college can get you to the NFL but me. But he didn't know. Only had like three offers. So I'm like, all right, all right I'll, I'll think about it. <laughs> the whole time, I'm like I'm coming. Like, <laughs> so that's how I didn't go to Miami. But as a kid, real rap. If you, especially if you're running back, I love Miami Hurricanes. You talk about Saint Thomas Moss, bro. He was so nice. Yeah. So why, if you if you talking about running back, why you were so disrespectful to the Miami running back how? room? Like, not, what you mean listen, how? Listen, you listen, say listen. you don't respect yeah, look, no Miami running oh, back. No, I, I ne first of all, what I never mean? said no? that. No? Like, none? He's lying. Go ahead, what you say? What I said is, first of all, my main man is Frank Gore. I love Outside Frank. of Frank. I think Frank is nice, right? From Edge to Portis. Look, see, here go the disrespect. Go ahead, no, keep no, going. I, I never, just being honest, I always thought Willis McGay was like a fullback. And then when I asked questions, he was, right? He played some fullback, correct? No, well, no, no. So let me address that. I just don't want to lie. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. TV. So, so hold on. This is how hardcore we was at the U. Didn't care who you was, what position you, what play. That's what, 11 going to play. No, no, no. Who you was. You came in as a running back. Coach Don Solinger made your ass play fullback. You had to learn what it felt That's like. That's not true. No. Frank Gore played fullback? Yes. They might not have played in the actual dog. They might not have played in the actual game. In the game, so but, like, practice but practice and all that, yes. Oh, like walkthroughs. You had to bang. <laughs> said, no. Come on. You bro. had to we, bang. So so, 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 so played fullback? So so you gotta I'm remember. Asking, no, no, bro, bro, you gotta remember. You get a situation, right? You put Willis at fullback, you put Frank Gore in the back. Frank Gore motion out. We shift. Now we got Willis at tail. So da, da, da. Now look I mean, at okay, it. Okay, okay. Right? Hold on. You got Willis. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, but I'm saying I play, I play fullback. I wasn't, I wasn't blocking nobody. I was Texas routing out of every linebacker in college. I was doing fullback wheels, all type of crazy out of the, out of the backfield. I mean, but you're, you're talking about like matchups. I did that best. Yeah, it's matchups. I'm yeah. not talking about that. I'm not talking about that. Bro. No, but that's why Willis was at fullback. All right, anyway, anyway. Okay, so let me get probably, into it. Probably for you, Edge, you know, Edge is before, Edge before your, before your time. time. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so I told you. I mean, you, you I, can I watch was, the film. No, I respect Edge. I think, bro, I think Edge is good. I'm not, I'm not saying he's not good. And, and like I mean, Portis, Portis is you know he's more your time. Miami, he's my favorite Miami running back. Portis before your time was Portis. I love Portis. But I'll game. tell you like this though, before Frank Gore got injured, before he got injured. Now you, you you're, you're hearing this from a deep. He gonna, he gonna love this. Frank gonna love this. I told you, Shady. I told you. I've never seen anything like that 
in my life. <laughs> Frank, <laughs> you got hurt all game. You know I know. In but, my life. Yeah. Never seen anything like it. What was, what was, what was what we talking, talking about? about that? Yeah. What so that look like? Bro, physical, I, tough, I, I, smart. I, I, I couldn't. Me and I'm known physical corner, hit everything, tackle. I couldn't tackle him. I couldn't put, I can barely put my hands on him. And then he would get you in, you know, line you up. And he had that, that little Barry Stenner's that, and then he was running this low. He was literally running Yo, this low Frank, to the ground. Yeah, yeah, he run low. I love that part about him. So he's going to miss. And then when you get up on him, he had a nasty stiff arm. Nasty stiff. It was just, it always caught you off balance. And, you know, I hate when he got hurt because when he got hurt, Sean T caught, caught him in a hole. And it was like the one chance where you could really like, damn, we got him. And you know, he came, boom, and he, you know, everybody rolled up on each other and that's how he got hurt his first time. But Sean never got a clean hit on Frank. I never, I probably tackled him maybe once. It had to be a shoestring tackle, but he was different. Like we all see Frank, you know, Hall of Famer, future Hall of Famer. He can't touch that Frank that was in the, at Miami. It was it was something different, it was something I've I've never seen. Frank say that too though. He's like, man, it was shit, something he, that I've never seen. Before I got hurt, man, I was this and that. So he knows it, you know. But that's, and then to see how good he is. That's two ACLs though. Everybody keep forgetting yeah, it was about two that. ACLs. Yeah, yeah. He did two ACLs before he got to the league. Right. Yeah. So, so you y'all you, know how we be on the field and one of our players go down and one of our brothers go down and it just takes the life out of everybody. So when when Frank went down, because he has so much respect, right, from everybody. You know how was that? It, you know it was it was yeah, it was first bad, first. right? Like it was it was bad because he was our hopeful, right? And then for me, like he's my he's my classmate, like that's my boy from the Grove. But in my opinion, nothing was as bad as Willis, Willis McGahey. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was tough in the Fiesta Bowl. Like I didn't even want to play the game anymore. And I literally didn't want to play the game. I didn't want to play the game. You know, it was like, you you playing because you're out there. You know, it's national championship, but like every, I felt like everything in my body was just gone. Like I was just out there, just like a, a body just moving around. Like no soul, no passion, no fight. Just find a way, find a way to you know to get it done. Right. But mentally, you checked out. So, you know, me and Trail, we call each other six and eight. You get what I'm saying? I couldn't match his career as far as how much he had played, you know, playing against the top competition, um, everything. So once I played, we played y'all here at, uh, in Miami. I had a real good game. Ball. I would f***ing watch him up until probably two days after the draft. I would watch everything he would do because I was on the board, you know, and even my either my family or my agent. He's like, yo, man. <laughs> You seen what Trey did? I'm like, yeah, bro, I seen him. Bro. Stop <laughs> telling me this. I'm watching him every week. You get what I'm saying? So then we get to, you know, draft. He was kind of big, and they was like, well, Pac, you kind of small. But Trey ran, ran, ran decent for his size. He had all the film. And I'm like, man, there's no way that these scouts are going to take me for Trey because Trey done played at the U. He got a national championship. He done locked down. You know, he was he was following the good yep. players at West Virginia. They didn't let me trail because we played boundary. Yeah, and, and corner, field. yeah you boundary. You get what field. I'm saying? Right. So I, I hired an agent, uh, Gary Rashad, bless his soul, uh, who passed away. They got me and Trail neck and neck for every category that, mm -hmm. that you can name. You know what I mean? Defensive corner of the year, player of the year, all of this stuff. So I, I go to my agent after I ran. I ran really good. I ran four two nine mm. on my pro day. That's more than real good. You blazing. Yeah. Yeah. You blazing. So <laughs> talk about. I didn't do no no field drills. Like after I ran, my agent was like, "Yo, pack Shit. it up. <laughs> Yo, let's go. <laughs> Tap go. Hey, hey, hit that hamstring. We'll talk to you later. Yeah. So that's it. We, we go through all of that. Now it's draft time. You know what I mean? So hey, Adam, you want to come to the draft? I'm like, yeah, yeah. So this is night before the draft. We get in there. He's like, "Yo, no." I gotta tell you, this shit is up and down. <laughs> Who the f gonna be picked first? I'm like, so what you saying, bro? Like, I'm getting chills right now. I'm like, what is you saying, bro? He's like, well, you know, a lot of teams like you, but a lot of teams like Trail too. Mm -hmm. You know, he's he's big. He's an NFL prototype yeah. corner. Big. You know, he, he has good size. He weighed. I think he weighed in like what you weighed. Yeah, like, I was like two o three. Two o three. Yeah. yeah. It's like two o three. So 
I just need to know, like, you might not be the first corner. You might be number two. I'm like, what? I'm like, bro, stop telling me that. I done came all the way to New York and you telling me that trail. Oh, wait, gone. wait, you was in the green room? Hold on. This is the day before the draft. Listen to what I'm telling you. <laughs> he like, yeah, but trail might go before you. Right. I looked at him. I said, all right. I said, if you don't think that I'm going before him, book me a plane ticket right now and let me go home. <laughs> no, y'all think this was some book. Yeah, what I do, Trev? <laughs> hey. Yeah. Go. Bats. Go. <laughs> hey, that was, hey, that was packed, though. No bullshit. No, that was packed. I'm sitting in, I'm sitting in the seat. You're going to have first class. I'm already. Hey, man, you 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 cannot do this. The NFL, bro, see you. Go <laughs> Bill. Bro. I go home. Yeah, I'm like, oh, shit. Not all this. Not all that. I'm like, bro, I'm not going to the draft. I ain't going to be the first corner pick. And mentally, like, me and Trev, we, we would see each other, text each other, talk about yeah. all this shit. But I mentally thought that, I was like, he's got to be the first defensive player off the board because of all this shit that he's done. You know what I mean? So I end up going home, and I'm sitting in there. We had the second pick. And I'm like, oh, God, I'm so nervous. But, like, <laughs> I'm literally, I probably had – Drunk four shots at this time, pacing. You know what I mean? I'm pacing around. That all draft my, day is all, crazy. All my family yeah. in there. Yeah. Told my man, don't worry about it. Calm down. So got to three. I thought he was going three. So where, so where, everybody who, knew who, that Tennessee who needed who a team? corner. Who was Tennessee? Oh, I mean six, six. I mean I, I thought he was six, going yeah. six because yeah. we knew Tennessee needed a corner. Between us, it was six, seven, and eight. Mm -hmm. Six, seven, and eight yeah. was the cornerback picks. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So the fifth round over with. Tennessee is already on the clock. Them up, I'm sitting in there looking like, God damn, they finna call roll. <laughs> Man, them got down to 45, probably 50 <laughs> seconds. My phone ring. I said, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know hello, me, hello. <laughs> he said, hey, this is Jeff Fisher. <laughs> and this, honest God, true. He said, look, we were sitting here debating. About you and Antrell. <laughs> but the reason we took you, because I love what you do on special teams. Oh, that's crazy. So I watch you in and out from my fucking sophomore year, our junior year. Collectively, we probably had 20 balls thrown at us yeah. our junior year. Who, what, what other corners came out that year? Me, him. Uh, Corey uh, Webster. Corey, Corey Webster. Webster was in that uh, What's hey, our boy? Carlos, Carlos Jackson. You played with him in Carlos, Rogers. Carlos Rogers. Carlos Rogers. Marlon, Marlon Jackson. Yep. Jackson. None oh, of them lasted man. except me and Trev. Yeah. These dudes yeah. are I like Corey though. I like I like yeah, Corey, Corey, Corey in New York. Yeah. Yeah. So 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 huh? so um what what happened then? You get to the league, big corner. Right. Because I remember when I because I came the next year, right, going to AZ, I'm like, damn, that's a big dude. How did you move? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like how you end up going from corner to safety? Like so when I got when I got dropped to Arizona, they made me play nine yards off. Mm. Uh, they made me play nine yards. All like I didn't even have a I didn't have an option to, to press. And at U University of Miami, I I've never backpedal. I never backpedal one down ever. <laughs> I never backpedal. So in training camp, they're teaching me how to backpedal. Like I backpedal like a duck. Like I I didn't I didn't know. Right. You know I know I do drills and backpedal, but I didn't know how to cover anybody and really backpedal. That wasn't my thing. So long story short, my first year I ended up tearing my uh my meniscus in two places. Had surgery. I only played like four games. The year after that, I played the entire season, but I'm playing nine yards off. So I'm not giving up touchdowns, but I'm not making a dynamic plays. You know, I'm not intercepting the balls. I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm playing, I'm playing safe. Right. You know, for me, but that's not my comfort zone. So third year, uh, we get a new head coach, Coach Wizenhunt, and I get demoted. So now I'm playing nickel. Uh, Eric Green's at one corner, Raw Hood's on another but corner. But you're a bust now, though. Yeah. You go to a situation, right. ball in front of you, then yeah. you get here, they coach, boom, right. system. So, you know, listen, I, I, I've been there before. Yeah. You know, mm. I've, I've been there before. So I just put my head down, just kept working, right? Nickel, special teams, I'm just doing it all. My confidence is, is down. I'm not really showing it, but to me, it's down. It's not down because I knew I wasn't capable. It's down because I felt like, damn, I was kind of embarrassed. You know, you're kind of embarrassed, like, like this is not you. Like, this is not a position you're supposed to be in. But I mm. found a way. You know, I found a way. And I, like I said, I was going to get it from the mud. We're playing against Cincinnati. And before, when my coach demoted me, I was like, man, this dude, 
Like, he don't know who I am. Mm. <laughs> he, don't, like, he don't know who I am. Right. But I'm going to show him. And yep. I say, one day I'm going to make his ass beg me. Mm. I say, I don't know how, I don't know when. But I say, one day I'm going to make him beg me. So my third year, long story short, I end up having five picks. Think like five took five to the house. At nickel? At nickel. Mm-hmm. They called one back. Had three interceptions in the game, all three for touchdowns. They called one back. That's never been done. And he looked at me after that game, right? He looked at me after that game, playing against Cincinnati. And he looked at me like, God. And I remember I had tears coming down my face. And I'm like, man, listen, you just feel my fire. Like, you don't know who the f- you messing with. Mm. And at the end of the year, you know, we all meet with the coaches, the head coaches and stuff at the end of the year. He saying, Trill, hey, do you want to play safety or do you want to play corner? Now mm. I got options. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got options. I said, coach, I don't care where I play, man. Just let me let me be around the ball. You know, I played nickel my entire career. Safety, I never played safety, but if I had to learn it, oh well, I know, I know the defense anyway. Just let me be around the ball. And from there, you know, the rest is history. I, I just want to take that time, man. Coaches can mess up players, bro. Yes. You know, think about that whole story. You go get a guy, you draft him high. What round did you, I mean, what pick did you end up going? I went, I went eight. You went eight bro, they overall. Had you nine yards and that's off. When, and that's when y'all was getting the big money. You go recruit a guy, you, sh- you would think you know his skill set and where he fits best. Then you put him in a situation like that. And then we wonder why some of these guys you know, don't pan out. Oh, you were one of the one, the few that was able to evolve, have the mindset, the mental makeup to keep fighting through that. A lot of guys a don't lot of guys do, break. A lot of guys but, break. <laughs> but do you think the move from corner to safety, do you think you'd play longer at corner? Or do you think you'd have played longer at safety? Nah, you know what? I always knew. So this was, this was my whole thought process, right? Like my mom, she was like, she was the guru, right? Like that's my lady, like, she knew football before I even knew football. She studied football before I studied fo- football. So I didn't learn about Pac-Man Jones from watching him or my agent. I learned from my mom. My mama knew about For Pac-Man real? Jones. Man, you know, Trill, he fast, he'll return this, that, the other. And then we played him. I'm like, damn, you know, Pac-Man can bug it. Yeah. You know, hey, he, he, right. got, he, got, he got that shit in him, you right. know? So, you know, I always gave me fly, man, but Pac-Man was a dog. And that's something that you cannot teach. You know, we had a master on Kellen Winslow. Kellen Winslow, 6'5". Yeah, right. You right. know, but he was one of our most explosive offensive weapons. So they matched Pat on him sometimes. My thing was my body is tight. You know, I'm, I'm, little, I'm big legs. You know, I'm, I'm not a skinny corner. I always knew I was going to make that transition to safety. But mm. my mom was like, to get that money, you got to get drafted as a corner. Mm-hmm. So I made sure that I perfected my craft. <laughs> You know, I was the slowest corner at UM, and I was running low 4-4. I was the slowest corner at UM, the slowest. We had four twos all day. We had four threes all day. So I had to do something to set myself apart, right? So what I did was, you know what Pat and say? I watched that waste. Like, my whole objective was the quarterback got two, maybe three seconds to look that way. If I keep his ass on the line for that long, they're going to look the other way. <laughs> right. So it didn't matter how fast you was. I was going to keep you on that line. We, we were going to tangle. We were going to tangle at that line. <laughs> and that's what it was. I always saw you super active on the field. I always respected you, you know, in, in, in battling against you. I won some. You won some. But, bro, like, you never stopped talking. You was always moving. It's almost like um, Tyron Matthew. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Almost like the same type yep. of player. Yep. Yep. Always around the ball. Always active, bro. That's true. Always admire your game. When you move, sure, it was nice. Right. When you move to safety, like you studied the cornerback position. Now you're at safety. When you made that transition, who were you studying then? Who were you admiring? Who were what, what film were you breaking down? Man, you know what? To be honest with you, I, I really didn't study other safeties. I I, I studied myself. Mm-hmm. And the way the way I looked at my game, when I played safety, I don't think there was another safety in the league that can do what I did. You know, you can, you couldn't match. And I love the Ed Reed ball hawk. I love Troy Palomaro game. I thought Troy Palomaro was just, he can destroy a whole offense by himself. Oh my goodness. But you're not matching any of them up against Wes Walker the entire game. That's true. <laughs> Cause he can cover though. You no, you can cover. Not even yeah. that. That's true. There's yeah. situations where you have a Palomaro, a Reed, whatever, like Trail's makeup and his build 
and his mentality, he could literally play in the box from from a nickel position. Right. You take the 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 feet and the ability of a corner, then you put it at safety, safety yep, right. because he already got the dog and he could as a safety, but he want to hit like a linebacker. Mm -hmm. There really was nowhere on the field that he really couldn't play. That's true. My favorite hurricane teammate to watch in the NFL. Because, he, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. My dog played like he danced. That's why you talk about, he all act, my dog got them hips, yeah, dog. My dog. <laughs> hey, my dog got, so Trevor used to be out on that field, yeah, dog. Trail, that's he, that's my dog playing like he danced. Right. And so I used to love to watch the game. And once he, he catch one, little pitch toe, and little hips. <laughs> yeah. He, he did yeah, he, he, go, yes, he, he going to run 200 yards after the interception and only get Eight yards on the stack. <laughs> right. If he didn't score, he sideways, he's spinning, he just he wiggling, yeah. man. Hands down, my favorite teammate to watch. But now, when we so we played them twice a year in New York, and and um, I remember we trying to scheme up, right? Because the thing was, he could cover. You know, most safeties no can't cover. They can't cover. Who was the other dude on the other side? Um, um, what, with New York, New York. Cause we had Deion, Deion Grant and Kenny Phillips. Well, how about this? Deion Grant was I, I, all right. Kenny Phillips came after Deion Grant. Deion, Deion, Kenny Deion had an was upside. Ball. Deion was a go, go. I was say, I won't Kenny, got, the names. Kenny was hurt. But with him, was yeah, Kenny was nice too. But out of, all, out of the safeties, though, he, he's the one that could cover. So if they had to, the, because they, they blitz a lot. You know what I mean? So they had the blitz. He's the only one covering. So I remember we were trying to scheme where we wanted the other safety, you know, to, to do some of the covering. So I do remember that. So when you said that, he could play in the box because he could hit, he could play corner. So he could cover. So that didn't make sense. 2008, bruh, y'all was y'all wasn't that good. Nah, it was good at the right time. At the right time, them motherfuckers yeah. definitely clicked. Right, they? right, right. Yeah. 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 I think y'all was wild card. We were nine too. and seven. Yes. Yeah, all away yeah. games, yeah. all away games. Crazy. We were nine and seven. Bro. Walk us through that year, bro. <laughs> Obviously, 2008 is the year y'all won the Super Bowl. David Tyree the helmet catch, crazy year. But when I was with Arizona. We like you said, we weren't a good team, but we had some, you know, That's another pretty decent awesome draft picks, right? right? What was that 2006, two here at AZ? What when they went to the Super Bowl? Yeah, Bowl? no, no, no. We, we went might to need Super Bowl to start 2000, 2009. Nah, yeah. we against went the 2009 Steelers. Against the Steelers, yeah, San Antonio right. Holmes. That's San Antonio, yes. 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 Yep. yep, yeah. Damn, I forgot about that one. Yes, they had that game one though. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. Did. it hurt. But man, listen, if, if you gonna win like that, bro, you gotta just take your hat off like that catch. Walk us through that that whole shit. Like I forget, I bro. Forget. That's on Dang, me. That game one, bro. That's on yeah. me. For, right, yeah. right. Fitz. Like, it, it was just back and forth. It was a back and forth battle. It was a back and forth battle. Um, then James Harrison get that crazy pick that before, pick. you know, before the half. Run down, Larry Fitzgerald running to me on the sideline. They still give me for that. <laughs> you know, I said he ran to me on the sideline. Brain on the field, I'm on the right. sideline. But I guess I got in his way or whatever. But um, it was a battle. You know, we still went up after that game. Ben Roethlisberger came yeah, back. Right Santonio Holmes, that last drive, man, he just, he, he he had his way. He had his way that last drive. And uh, it was just a play that we had designed for that particular play defensively. It should have been a pick six. What? 108 yards the other way. One low, one, one middle high, low, and one, one high point. middle, yeah. one, in, one in the corner middle. Yeah. Sit, all you gotta do is sit there. So who's the culprit? Yeah, so what happened? What who was, so who what was happened? the culprit? No, who was the culprit? It, it, it was DRC. Oh, 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 DRC. Oh, DRC. Oh, DRC. Oh, I mean, you know, I never told nobody that. Right, right, right. I never told nobody that. But you know, that's Playing one of my brother, man. Yeah. That, Come bro, on, coming DRC. on the show. I hit him up. He coming on the you show. Know, but, so that's a, but that's the thing about DRC is. By the way, who's DRC? So everybody. Dominique Rogers Kramati. There you go. Dominique okay. Rogers Kramati. So in, in my opinion, one of the most gifted corners I've Ever I, seen. I guess. Like, yeah. In my eyes, he supposed to have been the first hundred million dollar corner. But you know, did I see a little? Did I see a little? little wild, <laughs> he got a little man. bit of us in Looney. Got a little bit did of us in Looney. <laughs> but he can play ball. Whenever he want to dial in, the best I've ever seen at the corner position. That's facts, bro. Hands down. Like, oh man, I've seen him do some do some crazy stuff. But yeah, you know, it was. But it was a ball that was thrown. And, you know, at corner, all our eyes can get tricky at times. You know, Ben Roethlisberger looking to his right, you don't know if he's throwing it high or he's throwing it low. And all he did was make two false moves downward. And the ball just came right over top, man. And it was just that catch. So, so, so I appreciate you. I know you're a fan of the show. And I appreciate you coming on and helping us break news. Just know that it's going to be on ESPN all over the place. <laughs> on I Am Athlete, Andrea Rose says, right. DRC is the reason why they lost the Super Bowl. <laughs> in Arizona. No, 
but the big thing now is Eli is 117 and 117, I think, as far as wins and losses, right? Is he? Eli Manning? Yes. Is he? He's, yes. he's, he's 117 and 117? He won 117. Lost 117. Okay, okay, okay. I'm right. with you now. Did yeah. You get it? yeah, get it. Remember we was Did talking about numbers it? of who should be a Hall of, Hall of Famer, Famer mm -hmm. who shouldn't be. The numbers win, loss. Ain't no way in the f you make Hall of Famer being 50%. That's just me personally. You take two chips from Tommy, change you the whole I mean? narrative. My question is, mm. with being 117 and 117, do you think he's a Hall of Famer or not? I mean, I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't know those statistics like that. Uh, <laughs> Damn, <on> the spot. <laughs> I didn't know that. You, you just put me up on game right there. He do but, got uh, rings though. Come on though. I, one seventeen, shady, and one seventeen. Who he get you, his rings against, and from who? See, yeah, I think, I think, I think all that got to factor in, right? Yep. So if if you were to ask me one seventeen, one seventeen, I don't care who the quarterback is. I'm saying hell no. Hell no. Not fifty percent. Right. right, right. No, <laughs> no. But <laughs> now. No, regular see, regular, see, regular, 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 regular season Eli is different than playoff Eli to me. Okay. As, as a teammate, right? Um, you know, I've seen him, you know, throughout the course of, of the season. Look like he's seeing ghosts a little bit at times. But me too. Come playoff I've seen him time. Of I was on the other side of the come ball. Come playoff time. When he started getting that little scruffy beard going on, <laughs> yeah. he got to get a little crazy looking, that little crazy. Alabama looking at his eye. <laughs> Lips all wet Man. all the time. <laughs> different. Yes, that's true. Oh, different. Bro, when we played San Francisco, when they had that crazy front and the mm. linebackers, bro, he got killed that game. Killed. Like, I kept telling myself, like, damn, he ain't getting up this time. He ain't, he ain't getting up. He done. Man, he would get up and... Uh, that's, that's his thing right there. Hey, he like... <laughs> hey, he'd get up and fix that shit. Hey, he kept slinging. He kept slinging that rock. He balled that game. But that's honestly when I became an Eli Manning fan. I've never seen a quarterback get their tore up like that. He, he got tore up. What I was his it? Too. Up and yeah. down. Like, what was his it? Like, what, what was the thing that, you know, like, you look at him, he's like, okay, we in the playoffs. He about to be playoff Eli, but, like, what was his it? And, and this is just my personal opinion because I don't know for a fact, but outside looking in, it seemed like to me, Eli could probably get in his own head. And what I mean by that is, he's never ever once thrown any player under the bus. Hmm. Bro, in New York, New like, York, yeah. that media is different. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Like, it, that, that's a different type of spotlight. And bro, he always took it head on. Like, mm. and that's what I respect him so much as, as a player and as a teammate. He never ever turned the cheat. It was always his fault. He wanted to take it on his shoulders. And I think during the season, he would play to keep himself safe. Okay. You know what I mean? We, we, listen, we, we needed him. And then when playoffs, when playoff time came, it, it seemed like he just kind of like, okay, I'm just going to lay it all on the line. Right. And that's what I observed from outside looking in. Like I said, I could be wrong, but, you know, that's what I observed from outside looking in because playoff time came. And he, to me, he was a different player. He was a completely different player. And... I tell you one thing, they don't win two two ships without him. Yeah. Whew, that's, that's for damn crazy. sure. I feel like with, with Eli, like even like all the players that play with him, even when he struggled, they never really said like bad things about Eli. Well, most quarterbacks don't they don't you, do good. You, Eli, you better not you talk better about not Eli. Talk about Eli. <laughs> Eli. The hell are you talking about? <laughs> you tell that's my guy. He, he like, get a pass yeah, because of the ball. Right. Yeah. Yeah. One way the ticket is to, oh to Nowhereville. Yeah. Question? Yeah, nah, you ain't talking about Eli. Safety position. I want and I want you to tell me today's game. And when we play, I want to hear your top five guys that's, that's retired as far as safety-wise and your top, I'll give you top three right now that's playing. During our time, um, I would say, I mean, I'm excluding myself, uh, Troy Palomalu. No, don't exclude yourself. You feel you in there? Put yeah, in put, there. I'm, what, what I had on my plate, I'm going to put me at number one. Right. Let's go. And I ain't talking about interceptions and I'm talking about what I had on my plate as a as a as a defender had no nickel, had no bison, had no corner, had no safety, and I played all four of those positions. One I've never seen game. any safety other than Malcolm Jenkins when he came up after me. He played a lot how I played. You can put him at any, many different positions, and he would have settled those positions. 
Uh, another one, uh, Honey Badger. And Woodson. And Woodson. Them the only two. Woodson was who? Woodson was hey, hey, not for hey, hit Charles. Hey, yeah. when, Wood, and when Woodson, Woodson was one of those dudes that when, that's what I should have did. Yeah. Yeah. Follow Charles. Hey, when I told you to do that. I told when you. When Woodson yeah. made that transition to safety, boy, were you talking about sweetness? Yes. It yeah. was. It was. It was easy for him. Mm-hmm. Yes, right? it was. That's it was easy it was. for him. Easy. It was easy. It was easy for him. But you know, Ed Reed, Troy Polamalu, uh, Woodson. I mean, Yourself. none of them come before Sean. Right. Like, if I was God rest his soul, bro, if yeah. Sean would have, if Sean would have, you know, been able to stay in this game, as long as we know he would have stayed in this game, bro, he would have changed that safety, the safety position forever. Mm. Who's your top three right now? Uh, I like Honey Badger, though. I love, I like I love Honey the Badger. Honey Badger can play. Yeah, yeah, similar. You, you bigger than that fast. Yeah, but he, but he can play ball. He can play ball. He's always around the ball. He's always around the ball. You know what I mean? Um, that defense I like, is different. Uh, but buddy from, uh, from, from uh, San Diego, Derwin. Derwin. Woo. Yeah, he's yeah, nice, yeah. too. He's nice. Nice. Yeah, he's nice. He can but play don't forget that boy from Arizona now. Oh, uh, uh, oh, Buda yeah, Baker. Buda Baker. Yeah, Buda Baker. Hey. Best safety in the league yeah. right hey. now. Yeah. He's the best. What? Listen. Man, have you seen him? He play hard. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Play, oh, my God. He played hard. Smart. He's and always he was on the ball. Your... And he, he bring that. He bring, he that, bring... He bring that. The way he hits you right there. Right. Woo. Yeah. So that's two. What's the third? Who's the third? Safety. I think Jesse Bates. And I ain't just saying that because he's in Cincinnati. I like Jesse. I like but him. he one of them that's going to have 50 interceptions. He's been playing yeah. four, four. What is he? He, he, he a ball hawk. He a ball hawk. What year sure. is this for? None, none, of them, none of them boys in Buffalo? I like, I like Buffalo. I like, I like, I like high. Hot, hot as a dog. Like um, hot, and yeah. uh, they got another one there in Buffalo. Boy, yeah. yeah. They got two. Hell yeah. Both you know right. of them boys some right. Best tandem. So, so before well, we go got to the next thing, so basically what I hear you saying is you're a Hall of Famer. I don't think I end up being. Well, a if you, if you in that area, if you put yourself in the top, why if don't you put you yourself think? in the top five? I think, well, because I think I think I sacrificed a lot for my team, mm. and, and what I say, what I mean by that is I was used as like a Swiss Army knife, right? Right. All right, Trill, we need you here for this day. We need you here this game. We need you there that game. So I didn't have, you know, the the the, the sexiest game, but I locked down. Yeah. You know, yeah, and a lot of, yeah. you know, unless you know football and you really watching the guy and understanding, you know, how he's disrupting the game. That's right. You can get lost in it. That's I think, right. I think a lot of my games, go, I got lost six. in a lot yeah. of my game, right? Yeah. But when we, when we go back to film on Monday and we watch it, my job was done. It go back to Ex- what you shot. said earlier. It's like, if you know, you know. You know, you know. You know, you know on, on our side, contract. we knew. Yeah. Like, right. That's why one of the guys. contracts. They knew. Right. They, yeah. That's why he that's got why they paid. paid him like that. They knew he was balling. <laughs> but then also, it's like, you know, it's like, that's that's media. And then, that you, like you said, watching football, dudes know, like, oh, I respect. Right. You got my right. respect. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We knew like going said, in the game. You got to know football. Like Sometimes, like, I was listed as a safety. But the first year that I actually really just played full safety was year 10. Wow. For me. I was, I played more nickel and you bison. You everywhere, bro. And, Man, he was a high paid yeah, safety I, when I he was played, in New York, I played all They over paid the field. him that bread. So it was, it was plug and play. Like, I remember uh, Super Bowl, I would go in on Tuesdays and just, I would literally go in and peek my head in and look at the game plan, right? You know, sometimes the coaches would see me, sometimes they wouldn't. I happened to peek my head in and the coaches was in there. They're like, two cents, come here, come here, come here. Listen, you know, we're gonna put a lot on your plate this game. <laughs> we're gonna put a lot on your plate. I'm like, it ain't no different than what you do every other right. game. Right? Right, right, right. <laughs> but nah, he 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 really meant they're gonna put a lot on my plate. So, you know, the, the rest of the defense had a game plan and it was just, you know, the front sheet, but it was filled. The front sheet was filled. It was front, field, <laughs> flipped it over, back, field. And he always asked me the question, man, you, is it too much? You think you can handle it? But going to that Super Bowl, you know, I had been a part of Super Bowl and I lost one. You know, mm-hmm. I went out maybe twice within that Super Bowl, enjoyed the festivities and things of that nature. Man, that second Super Bowl, bro, when I tell you I was locked and loaded, <laughs> I ain't want to hear from nobody. I ain't want to talk to nobody. I was focused. I was dialed in. But I was scared. 11 years I played NFL football, I had never been a part of any practices that were as fast and as crisp as the practices that we had in Indy mm. before that Super Bowl. And you know what's crazy? And that that crazy. Super Bowl was that uh, was the Manning hand on the on the yep. on yep. the. Yeah, that, 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 that whole he, game he was catch. magical. Remember, that catch. Uh, but it, it's not just but you the lost catch, the same was... way though. I was just gonna say that. Yes, he, he won one and yes. lost and lost one. Same with one catch. One catch. One, one catch, catch in both games, 
was, hey, God damn, we would have won the Super Bowl. Hey, yeah. oh, we ain't finna win. God, he caught yeah. that one. He caught it. <laughs> Jesus, I say, hey, I, hey, was he in? I still don't know. No, he was, he was in, bro. He was in? He was in. I don't even care. He was in. 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 He was a good player. But it was also the situation, too. Remember the situation was a gotta have it moment for real. Like it, it was, oh, yeah, it was right. fourth down. You know I mean? It was fourth. Yeah, it was yeah, fourth. Yeah. That was it. That was make yeah. a break. Bro, you know, bro, people. Bro, let me tell you something. Like, and I tell people this all the time. They ask me the question. I'm like, man, listen, it hurt so much more when we lost Ohio State. Like that shit to this day, I still never get over that. I think we were cheating. Y'all won that game. They yeah, cheated y'all yeah, that, yeah, that game. Bro. Yeah, we won. But that catch from San Antonio Holmes, bro, like, that's where you just gotta. God damn, like he made it, he made a hell of a play. Like outside, like me on the other scene, I'm like, bro, he made a hell of a play. Yeah. It was like, it was magic. It was acrobatic. Yeah, it was beautiful. The it turn, was another one of those. You know, the feed right on top moments. of each other. Yeah. That's right. what you dream of as if a you, kid. If you're gonna lose, man, if I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go out like that. Right. But you got another one. I got one more football question before we transition and then let you go. You're a quarterback on the defensive side, so you played against some legendary quarterbacks. Who's your top three, top five quarterbacks that you played against? Mm. Uh, and, and dive a little bit. I want to take us into the IQ. Okay, so athleticism, ability, nobody comes close to Aaron Rodgers. Mm. I agree. Mm. No, like, <laughs> y'all remember that shootout we had in Arizona, right? It was a playoff. It was the game, the score was like 50 something to like 40 something, right? So we, we leading 21 7 at halftime. And he come out halftime with a smirk on his face. I'm like, what are you smirking about? Like, y'all down. Fun playing. Bro, he, <laughs> he came fun in playing. the second half, and he lit our ass up. Yeah. I'm talking about he throwing balls at the eardrum and at the ankle. <laughs> and we weren't stopping none of that. And that, that side <laughs> off. That side off. And listen, I'm, I'm, you know, and, and Brian, Brian McFadden, that's my boy. Bro, he picked on him that entire game, and Brian McFadden had exceptional coverage. He couldn't play it any better. Mm. He couldn't play it any better. But Greg Jennings was catching that ball. Jordy was catching that ball because he was only putting in places where they could get it. The, the coverage was exceptional. I mean, to me, he's the greatest thrower of the football we've ever bro, seen at the NFL level. Crazy. I've already, I, I totally agree crazy. with you. Yeah, him or the Marino. snap that he got on the ball. It's different. Like, he can put the, the ball he wherever he want to put it, when yes. he want to put it there. When we played in Chicago, I had I had I had told these cats, uh, I think it was John Bostic. I said, listen, man, I said, I played this dude in Denver. And I said, uh, I saw him throw a back shoulder, no looker. <laughs> <laughs> they said, what? I seen him go like this. Release here, ball back shoulder on that side, right? <laughs> Bro, we, we, <laughs> hold on, look. We, we playing, we playing in Chicago. I saw him throw. A similar ball. We had two dudes on our defense come up to me. I touched it. I touched it. <laughs> the ball touched two people's hands, bro. Didn't break velocity or nothing. End zone catch. Touchdown. Nah, he different. He yeah, different. he's and he got, different. And he and had he's, fun and when he's he played. in our draft yeah. class. Too. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. Like, you, right. you, you, yeah. you run up tackling. Bro, it's, it's, he ignorant out there. So who, no, okay, so athleticism and ability, Aaron Rodgers, right? I think when you're talking about the mindset and just being – the mastermind of, of the game, Peyton Manning. You no, know, Peyton was dope too. Yeah, Peyton, Peyton, when, yeah, yeah he, he, he was different. He, he was getting it out too. He was getting that ball out fast. Was that your, your most difficult week? Cause you was like, damn, I got Peyton Manning. Um, I got you so know much to but, but I was able to study Peyton though. I, you know, I mean, not study Peyton, but study their offense and, and find some tendencies. So I, I was able, I was able to break some of that down. But my overall, the GOAT, you talking about that it factor? <laughs> Brady. That boy different. He different. He different. See, everybody <laughs> say that. <laughs> different, bro. And, and and the reason I say that is, I played against game with Aaron Rodgers, and you know we we kind of dominated them, and I felt like we kind of knocked this, knocked this his passion out of the game, his fight out of knocked the fight out of him a little bit. Brady. <laughs> they said four quarters. <laughs> well, five, six quarters, right. seven quarters. Like you, you got to kill him, bro. He's never out of the fight. Like his mentality is, I'm gonna find every way to win. Like he got he got a different type of dog in him, man. Like you know how people talk about like Michael Jordan. And yeah. How he had that yeah. dog back then, man. He he got he got that. You know, like it's, it's big time too. 
I think that that set him apart from right. from all the rest yeah. of the other quarterbacks. I'm quite sure Shady would agree with that too. We all agree with that. Shady was like, "Hey man, what about Shady man? I'm ready to call you at seven o'clock? Hey Shady, you know that route? You ran it at four yards. You should have ran it at five. Bro, he's <laughs> the best leader I've ever seen. He's different. And then he's like, you talked about A Rod. A Rod got all the like the special tools, the talent. Right. Tom don't have all that. I mean, Tom has that, but he's not like the same as A Rod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he got mm. everything else. Like. Yeah. How you be that? That's the same thing I would say about Steph Curry. Steph Curry, he ain't jumping high, he ain't super explosive, but he dominated. TB be dominating, bro. Maximize his yeah. ability. That's, that's, what, that's what he does, though. It, yeah. You know, he, he had to find a way. So, like me, like I say, when I was at UM, I was the slowest corner running the low 4 4, but I found a way to be the most dominant corner. Yeah, that so, line. Tom You're Brady, you know, he ain't the fastest, don't have the strongest arm, not athletic, but he found a way to be the best quarterback to ever play the game. So to, to end the show, you, you seem like a man, you know, that, that lived by principles yeah. and can define that. Like, I don't know, do you have any pillars, any type of principles, three or four or five pillars you lead people with? Man, first and foremost, man, just just be a good person. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just, if you're a good person, I mean, and you good other people, I feel like that's where your blessings come in, mm -hmm. right? I hit pack up the other day. I say, man, you know, what he did, you know, for his brother, his long lost brother, may he rest in peace. And for his son, you find people that do it and they do it for selfish reasons. And if you know Pat, he did it from the kind of his heart. You know, and, and you know, we're all fathers, man, and we all love our children and we instilling him, the, the, we instilling them the things that we've been taught, the things that have helped us along the way. And we try to get rid of the bad things, right? We can't we can't walk the walk for them. You know, we can show them little things, but our best example is, you know, what we show them, what we show them, because they're a blank canvas, right? We just trying to paint the picture for them. And that's all I do every day, man. Like I live for my children. Um, you know, thank God, you know, I'm financially stable enough to be able to do that and be with them like every step of the way. I always told myself, you know, when I have kids, I'm gonna give them five years of everything. I ain't doing nothing. You know, and I, and I was able to do that. You know, now my daughter's about to be five, you know, in a couple of weeks. So, I mean, it's been it's been the best thing ever for me. So making that transition from the league, I, I can't tell you I missed the league for one day because I haven't. So, oh, wait, y'all play, y'all play how many times a year? Twice a year. Because he played in New York. I play he, he, he talk, he talk, he talk a lot, you know. I, I don't. Blind. I don't. I don't even know if we ever touched the field together. You know, I, we never did. I can't. I, if we I can't did, remember, bro. If we did. You would I know. can't. I can't remember. But I think we did because everybody. Uh, anyway, listen. I, listen. Get, I watch. I watch. Get, I watch. Wait, I watch his game. game. You see these two. I watch his game. You see these two. I'm, I'm a it's fan. Crazy. I'm a fan of I am athlete. Right. So let me set the record straight. Come on, Trev. One of the nicest I've ever played against. Like what you say, cra crazy work. <laughs> Hey, he was giving you that crazy work. Hey, hey, let me tell you something. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, me and my, my brother and I was having this conversation like two weeks ago. Uh, cause he was talking about the show. To tackle? One-on-one -on -one overfield? <laughs> <laughs> he gave me that crazy word a couple times. Right, yeah. I'm talking about my, my nose diving grass. Right. You know, Shady I, ain't, baby. I ain't hitting nothing. But nah, he was, he was, listen, he was, he was like that. And I ain't saying it because he here. Yeah. You validated, man. He since, was since right. like that. Since Coming he from the defense, I'll get a little credit. Since since he was like that. Okay. 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 I need the K hat. Let me get the K hat. Let me get the K hat. Nah, you can't rock me. We had to fight to get a meal. Yeah, wrongfully accused. We had to fight to get a pill. That's why we right to get a deal. He on the team, he gotta eat, you know. Spike, spike the skills. Fat. Keep it riding for the fam. You gotta light the wooden wheels straight up. But in the past, bad. Work up in the trash bag. I'll pass a lot to take the test before I pass class. Yeah. And my family needed bread. I had to come correct. That's why I keep airing it out like I just passed gas.